Jeremy Weiss here. We are live from IRCE. I'm here with Seller Labs, Jeff Cohen. And for people who don't know Seller Labs, talk about some of the, what you guys do. Uh, so Seller Labs is a software company in the Amazon space. We provide reputation management, advertising management, and listing optimization tools for Amazon sellers. So I wanted you to talk about your t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, run PPC. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we came out with a new tool uh, about a year ago, our Amazon advertising management tool, and we just came out with version 2.0 right before the show. Kind of launched it here at IRCE. Uh, it provides ad management on the advertising on the Amazon advertising platform uh, for headline search ads, sponsored ads, and product display ads, uh, helping Amazon sellers optimize their advertising. What's it called? It's called Ignite, and uh, we're, the new version we're calling Ignite 2.0. So what's the difference between 1.0 and 2.0? Uh, the biggest difference between 1.0 and 2.0 is really the functionality that's available to the user. Um, so we brought it to a whole new, we rebuilt the whole interface from the ground up. Um, we created uh, grouping capabilities so that you can group multiple campaigns to look at ACOS and profitability across your products. Uh, we also created additional um, features for agencies and larger brands who want account tenancy uh, or need the ability to slice and dice their information in a more complex manner. So talk about some interesting use cases and how people are using it and some of the, uh, you know, I guess, success they're having with it. Yeah, so if I take it down to like a, a, a more simplistic level, we worked with a company called Vermont Teddy Bear. Vermont Teddy Bear used the tool to find new keywords uh, that they wanted to start bidding on for their, for their bears and for their pajama products. Uh, they were able to find a significant number of keywords in a short period of time, giving them the ability to increase their budget with more high volume keywords that were converting sales for them. Um, another example that's a lot more complex is uh, the workings that we did with Death Wish Coffee. Uh, Death Wish Coffee used our tool to rebuild all of their headline search ads, as well as all of their product uh, of all of their sponsored ads, giving them the ability to be more competitive. Um, the joke, not the joke, but the way Death Wish Coffee is a great example. Uh, two years ago, Death Wish Coffee was the hunter, right? They were new to the space. Uh, they were growing their brand. Today, they're you know a top selling brand on Amazon. Therefore, they're the hunted, and so therefore. Uh, the type of campaigns and the type of advertising that you have to do is different when you're the hunted than when you're the hunter. You need to stay, stay ahead of the curve. Yeah, you have to stay ahead of the curve. And then ultimately, agencies and, um, and, and larger brands are looking for the, the ability to take better advantage of the marketplace. And so you need technology to help you take better advantage, be able to process lots of data in a short period of time, and take action from that data. And so within the tool, you can take action directly from the tool on the data that you have. I know we were talking off camera that you, it's interesting, a lot of agencies are using it. How are agencies using your tools? Yes, yeah, so um, we have started working with agencies. Agencies are using it because it gives them the ability to scale within their organization. Um, so most of the time agencies have been using Excel spreadsheets, macros, things like that, but it doesn't scale as you start to add more and more employees and you start to add more and more um, companies, clients to your, to your list. So by having the ability to scale the number of users who can use the tool um, and the data that they get from it, you can actually do a lot more in a lot less time. So I know you guys are very customer centric, uh, value centric, but you also are technology centric. Uh, I wanted you to speak a little bit about the hackathons. You guys do some hackathons. Yeah, so um, our programmers love doing hackathons and essentially what we do at the company for our hackathons is we, we get together as a team, 
Um, and we all talk about what's happening with the tools, with the technology, with the space, and we come up with ideas. Um, we'll maybe come up with anywhere from four to eight ideas. And then everybody in the company kind of breaks apart into little micro teams. Um, there's people from marketing, people from customer success, people from programming, people from engineering, people from you know, ops, all get together to start building tools. Um, some of these tools never make it to market. Some of these tools are just fun, and people want to little have a little pet project, but over a 48 hour time period, something goes from an idea to something that's uh, demoed for the whole company. And then we take those products and we work the good ones um, or the ones that we think have the best chance to be used inside the marketplace um, into our future roadmap. What's one of the coolest things that have come out of the hackathon? Well, I can't tell you just yet because we just did it about three weeks ago. And so the, uh, the, the, the piece that won isn't going to come out for a little while because you know, you build it over 48 hours, so what you build is not production ready. It, it, it works, but it's not production ready. Um, and so what we need to be able to do is now take that and make it production ready. We also have to take it out to customers and we have to get customers feedback on it to find out if it's really what they want. Uh, the worst thing you can do in product design is design within your own bubble of what you think uh, customers want. So, for example, our Ignite 2.0 agency model was all based off of our needs from our agencies that we work with. So having agencies that were on board prior to the development of the product allowed us to really develop the product specifically to what those customers needed. Jeff, what else should people know about Seller Labs? Um, if you've never heard of Seller Labs, I think that Seller Labs is really here for the community. Um, we look at our local community in Athens, Georgia, and the uh, community within the e-commerce system as, as our home. Um, you know, in December of 2017, we raised $150,000 for Toys for Tots. So philanthropy is part of our part of our mission. Um, I'll put that out as a as a challenge to anybody who's listening. Uh, the whole idea behind our campaign was, we in the Amazon space know how to get toys for cheaper than retail. So can we take $10,000 and drive $10,000 into $50,000 for toys for Toys for Tots? Through ourselves, through our customers, through our partners, we were able to raise over $150,000 in retail toys for Toys for Tots. So, you know, we're all working in this community. We can all do good for ourselves. We can do good for others. And, uh, you know, we felt we wanted to give back. All right. Live from IRCE, check out Seller Labs. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a peach if you find the same. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.